So, PHX, you'll be Sato tomorrow, huh? Peter and Victoria Swa Gutsu, Marquis and Marquess of Consume. I don't get hangovers either. Peter and Victoria Swa Gutsu, Marquis and Marquess of Consume. How about this one? Minerva Stronheim Gutsu, Baroness of Borscht. Borscht! Baron C. Lambert Chowder Gutsu, pioneer of crouton technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. It's a door with a porthole in it for that nautical accent. Old portraits. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family, and I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. <laughs> Van Salad. It's a big nail. Hmm. I don't have anything that smacks a nail. This pipe pan won't do any good there. Might have to call on Ralph. <laughs> a few bottles of stout. <laughs> Comfy. It looks out onto the cemetery. I'd rather leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hallway. Nah. It's locked. It's locked. Let's see. Let's read the recipe book. Rum Rogers Rum Surprise. Yellow beards, baby. One jigger vodka, one jigger rum. Juice three lemons, five milliliters, fennel lat, whatever the hell, and cilantro. Shake well with ice. The bloody stump. Three cups rum, sodium pentatol, one jigger gin, vermouth, three cups tomato sauce, and cilantro. Serve warm. With the half of one raw potato as garnish. The blue whale. Green dye number two, yellow dye number five. Add soda mixed with hook. Phlegm and tonic. Combine one part yellow beard's baby and blue whale. Mix until mucus green in color. Add cilantro. The bloated tick. One cup tequila, two tablespoons maple syrup, one pound sugar, juice of one salmon boned, five teaspoon curry powder, two beets and cilantro. <laughs> Drink tequila, combine and discard remaining ingredients. Swamp zombie. One bucket mud, one jigger whiskey, two teaspoon iron fillings, one bat, two egg whites, dash of mocha, one milligram penicillin, Dash of snot and cilantro. Mix well, serve over ice. Appendix A, the pirate's first hangover cure. Clear as foggy head. One egg, pepper, hair of the dog that bit ya. Alcohol sensitive patients. Consult physician before using. Do not mix with alcohol before operating rudders or other heavy machinery. Causes extreme, 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 extreme drowsiness. Appendix B, cirrhosis. Know the signs by Captain William W. Dizziness, nausea, general unpleasant, death. If symptoms persist, treat with alcohol. Appendix C, Blondbeard's top secret biscuit recipe. Two cups flour, one, two eggs, one teaspoon yeast, cilantro. Add fly larvae to taste. Courtesy of the editor's friend's aunt who was charged 500 pieces of eight for a complimentary copy of the recipe and has distributed it for free in retaliation. This page left intentionally blank. Mm. So we need an egg, pepper, and hair. On the quest. Let's go to the...
let's go here. Boy, it's windy up here. Sure is. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. Indeed. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. It's broken. I don't have anything to replace it with. This is where the lighthouse light would go, if it had one. With all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light flew out. Indeed, look how high up they, he is too. Uh, let's see. Back to the beach. There's an egg. Now oh, wait. I don't think I can get the egg. <laughs> I can't shake it hard enough with just my hands. Ah, yes. Let's go over uh, here. Oh, there's pepper. It's a chili pepper. It's a wild pepper plant. It's locked. It's locked. Some barrels up there. There's a barrel at the top of the windmill. It's an open window at the top of the windmill. Open window. Looks like They're we'll be coming back. around the top of the windmill. Let's see, where else can we go? Mm, strange lights. This village is deserted. How curious. How curious. It's a table covered with different fruits and vegetables. Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. It's a large cube of tofu. Ooh, can I take it? <laughs> I'll just stuff it in my pocket, thank you very much. Chafing dish. It looks like kidney pie. Ooh, I want kidney. Mm, no. Fine. Fuck you too. Ornamental skulls. Yeah, it looks like a ship skipper, first mate, a professor, and the rest. <laughs> it's an idol of Ricky, the helpful god of finger bowls. <laughs> finger bowls. Oh, decorative piece. Very classy. Yes, very classy. Auger. It's an auger. No shit. Measuring cup. It's decorative yet functional. <laughs> Gilligan. <laughs> Not quite. It's a hand carved mask in the likeness of Leroy, god of pudding. Ooh, a god of pudding. I like pudding. <laughs> hmm. Mm, no. You look familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh, yeah. But it's more than that. We've met before. Back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. 
Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. <laughs> Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. Lovely weather we're having today. <laughs> yes. Lovely. I guess you're gonna eat me now. To be honest, the thought had crossed my mind. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. A pair of dimes? We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. <laughs> but there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lemonhead. <laughs> I'm Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. <laughs> Threepwood. Mighty Pirate, yada yada yada. <laughs> yeah. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh, no. Mount Acidopolis is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset. Belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really. And potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. <laughs> Stand aside! I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific! I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. <laughs> yeah, Sherman. <laughs> when does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the volcano god. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the volcano god's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Hey, Jason. What is this? This is Monkey Island by Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts. R.I.P. Point and click adventure. Monkey Island. Curse. Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. Why is this not Star Wars? LucasArts made more than Star Wars, damn it. Uh, funny. I really want to see the volcano. You're just not a cannibal, and your presence would defile the sanctity of our ceremony. Okay.